Number two then from the 2019 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1. Three marks here for roots of a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation has to have equal roots. If that's the case, what are the possible values, plural, of k? Well, just make a statement then. You're looking for equal roots. Well, that means, and that should ring the bell, discriminant. The discriminant. That b squared minus 4ac, that should equal zero for equal roots. Then, what are these coefficients? Well, b is the coefficient of x. They're all quite clear here. The coefficient of x squared, which is a, is 1. The coefficient of x is this bracket, k minus 5, and the coefficient, absolute coefficient is called, the constant of its own, is 1. So b is k minus 5. So k minus 5 squared minus 4 times. We you place older for it, it's just a 1 for a. What's the constant at the end? It's just a 1. That should come to 0. Multiply it out and you'll have a little equation. So square that bracket. Square the first, square the last, which is always positive, of course, twice the product. The product is negative 5k, doubling that, negative 10k, and that's a minus 4. Tidy it up so it can get a proper 2 instead of that smudge, and that's plus 21. Almost there now, you've got another quadratic. It must be k times k. Multiply to give 21 and add to give 10. That's 7 and 3. 7 3s are 21 and 7 and 3 makes 10. The middle term's negative, so the larger product's negative. But that then says now they're both the same. Final step. Product of these two factors comes to 0. So one of them must be 0. So that could be 0, in which case k would be 3. Or that could be 0, in which case k would be 7.